guys, what's going on? Steve and I are in the garage and we're getting ready to um, swap out the spark plugs on a 2004 Jeep Grand Cherokee. This procedure should be the same on a 99 to 04 Jeep Grand Cherokee with a 4.0 motor in it. Before we get started, remember to subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, and subscribe to all of our notifications. That way they'll get a heads up when we upload a new video. A couple things that I do, we're going to remove the air cleaner assembly, the ductwork over here. It's got a 10 millimeter over here we've already loosened up and taken out. I'm going to sit that up here. I'm going to disconnect the hose over here. Um, we're going to pull the ductwork and everything out of the way and we're going to take the bracket with the um, cables for the uh, accelerator pedal and the transmission shifter cable. We're going to disconnect those and take the two 10 millimeter bolts out from the bracket and take the, the bracket as an assembly out of the way. Just uh, pull this out. So we got a 10 over here. Pull the lever and push the, the shifter things gently to pop them off. Same thing with this one. And this one just pops back out like that. Now we take the bracket. We'll, um, we can keep these popped in here if we want with the screwdriver. We'll pop this tab off here. And um, these will all stay in place. And we're going to pull the whole assembly out of the way. Just take this one more 10 millimeter off. Yeah. You have three H ratchet for that. Okay, so we've got our assembly pulled out of the way. And we can tuck this all back up here out of the way. Already removed the air cleaner, the duct work over here. We've had to remove the accelerator pedal and everything because we're going up. We have to remove the coil pack on this thing. And we're going to just lift the coil pack up and move it out of the way. So we move the heater core hoses. We've removed this sleeve that holds the heater core hoses on. And we've got everything tie wrapped up out of the way. Now there's four 13 millimeter bolts that hold this coil pack on. There's electrical connector in the back which is a bitch to see. So it simulates this slide connector here and you have to push this red slide connector down to release the connector and then push on this tab. It's the same style connector, but we don't have to take that off because we're gonna slide the coil pack back and just sit it to the left a little bit so I'll have access to get to the spy plugs. We remove this from the valve cover, um, which holds the harness on and this sits back in the back um, down in here. So originally this came off down in here um, and the harness goes in place. So we took that off because we've got to get to the coil pack. Now, if you're going to replace the coil pack, you're going to have to mess with that connector. Fortunately, we don't have an issue with that. So we're just going to slide the coil packs up out of the way and we're going to remove the plugs from it. So I'm going to crack these three, pardon me, these four 14 millimeter, 13 millimeter bolts. Crack these loose. Just crack these loose, the bolts come right out.
All right, so we should be able to lift the coil pack up out of the way now. You hear the boots letting loose. Now, I'm just sliding this to the side now. I have access to all my plugs. Now, when we put this back together, we're going to lean this up. We're going to put dielectric grease in all these boots, and we're going to spray these boots with silicone spray, and that's going to extend the life of this coil pack. So we're going to get the 5-8 socket, and we're going to remove these um, six bar plugs right now. We've got our socket set up, and we're going to go in and crack these all loose. And I can go back in and unthread them by hand. to make sure we don't have, um, compare all six plugs to make sure we don't have any carbon buildup or oil. We want to make sure they all have worn the same. So we'll line them all up. Got a 5-8 socket with the rubber boot inside. All right, so we're gonna take a peek at our plugs here. So here's number one. And these plugs are not original. They're AC Delco, so they were changed at one time. Um, and when you look at them, none of them are fouled or anything. So they all look like they're burning clean. There's no carbon built up on them. So it looks like the engine is in good condition as far as that goes. Now the new plug should be gapped at 44,000, I believe. 35,000, pardon me. 35,000 is gap for a 2002 Jeep with a four liter. So we'll get our new plugs out and gap them now. All right, so we bought the Bosch Iridiums here. Um, and these have a very fine tip and you can't really screw with these so we're just very gingerly running the, the gap in and it's at the 35 so we're just double checking real quick you can't put any pressure on that tip or you'll break it off so I'm just gonna double check this one to make sure the box wasn't dropped and that's at 35 so we're gonna check all of them and then we're going to put a little bit of never seize on the threads. All right, so we're going to put a little bit of never seize on the threads. Just need a little bit. We're going to do all of our plugs. We've already checked the gap on them. So we're going to get this done. Then we're going to put some dielectric grease inside the boot. 
of the coil packs on each one of them, all six of them, and we're gonna spray them with silicone spray. Because if they short out, they dry up and they short out, you'll get a misfire, and you have to replace the whole coil pack on these Jeeps. You can't replace single ones like, you know, on the Fords and some other manufacturers. So um, we're gonna silicone spray them and put some dielectric grease, which is gonna help um, prolong the life of these. All right, so we get the plugs done. We get the dielectric grease here. We're gonna head over. So on the boots, sometimes you can't really get, you gotta rotate these things up a little bit to try and get these. And I put a little on my finger and I'm just gonna smear it into the boot. So when I push this boot back down, it goes onto the tip of the spark plug. The number one's a little tough to get at. We can get in here like this. And you only need a little bit. Because when you push the plug down, it's gonna spread it all throughout the inside of the boot here. So the last one here. We got one more to do. And then we're gonna spray these Okay, so now I'm gonna take the silicone spray and we're gonna try and soak these boots as much as we can. Let them sit for a minute and we're gonna start threading our spark plugs back in because I like this stuff to dry a little bit. All right, we're gonna start threading our spark plugs back in. We've got the Never Seas on them. We're gonna line them up. We can get them all started. And you can pretty much run them down so the roam is tight at the end. And then we'll put the ratchet on and snug them up. And you just gotta snug these, you don't have to crank the crap out of them. Now my plug's sticking on there, so I'm gonna get some needle nose and pull it off. Boot in my socket is a little tight, so pull that off. Make sure the boot's still in there. Now I can spray this with a little silicone spray and I'll help. Hopefully it won't stick as much now. Silicone spray out. Okay, let's do the next one. We're on number three. These go fairly quickly. We'll get them all started, snug them up. Okay, so we have all six plugs back in and, and snug down, and we've already put the dielectric grease in our boots here, and we sprayed them with the silicone. The silicone spray has already dried on them. Um, we're gonna sit the coil pack back in place, line them up with your spark plugs, make sure that they're all lined up, front ones too, and then we're gonna just, we'll get this thing to lock down into place. You just kinda gotta line it up. Okay, and that's down. So we're gonna line up our bolts here and we're gonna put a thin coat of never sees on these and we'll snug these four up.
All right, let's go throw these on. And these should all snug down pretty much by hand. We'll put the socket on them. We're gonna get them all started. And when these things, as these tighten down, they will finish pressing on the coil pack onto the plugs. <clears throat> I've never really done one of these myself with this ignition coil. It, it almost seems like it kind of floats on there a little bit. Yeah. You feeling the same thing? Yep. It, it, like with a spark plug boot, it kind of sucks on there. But with these, they almost kind of like float a little bit. Make sure we get them all started. Like I said, you can pretty much snug them down with your hand. We'll get this last one with the little extension here. Make sure they all start snugging up before we tighten any of them. Okay, they're all been snugged. All right, that's good. And you don't have to talk the crap out of these, just snug them up. Give them a little something. Now we're gonna start doing our reassembly. We're gonna cut our tie wraps here. We're gonna tuck our, uh, before we do that actually, we're gonna get this plastic cover back in place right now where this sits down onto the valve covers. Now a lot of times this side breaks right here and that's all right. Um, you can put a washer over it just to catch a little bit of the corner of it as long as you get one that's really pretty good and we're gonna we have our tie wraps in here so we can tuck this around the engine harness right now now when you're looking at your engine harness if any of the wire loom is broken back here this is the time to fix it it's all floating we can move it when we have um, you can lift this side of the injector uh, wiring up and you can get this all to float around if this is all dry rotted and brittle and put a new piece of loom on it ours is in good condition we're gonna slide this cover down in place here I'm going to tuck the tie wrap down underneath it. Okay, so now I've got my harness. Tuck the other tie wrap down. I'm going to tuck my harness up over this plastic ridge. Okay, so I've got one end of the tie wrap here. Now I'm going to put the nut on the back side over here, and we're going to get a washer just to catch this. We'll sit down on this and put the nut down. So I've got one nut right here that we can put on. We can snug this up. Now, this is going down by fingers and you just want to give this a little snug. You don't have to crank down on it. Um, and then we're gonna put a washer because the plastic piece is a little broken on this. And every one that I've worked on, the plastic pieces has been broken. So we're gonna put a washer on this and then we'll put the other nut down and then We've got our tie wrap here, so we can, we've got our um, tie wrap, so we're gonna tie our harness into place here. And after we get this snug, we'll do that. And we have this one down over here as well that we've lined up. And if you try and put this on after, it's pretty much impossible. You gotta put the tie wraps in place before you do this. And this will be, once it's tightened down and we tie wrap this on, it's got a nice clean distance away from the back of the valve cover. Nothing's gonna rub. And let's just find a washer for this one right now. All right, so we got one of these things is a little broken here. So we got a little washer. We're just gonna sit down on it. And it's gonna grab it a little bit. It ain't gonna do too much, but makes us feel a little better. So 
I'm going to tighten this up. These are 7 16 Snug this up. Got a little ratchet here. I'm just giving it a little snug. You don't want to crank down on it because you can break the plastic even more. Yeah, that's enough there. Okay, now we're gonna tighten our tie wraps. We got in place. This is sitting in there, that's tight. Okay, that's tight, this ain't moving anywhere. That's good. So we're gonna cut the tie wrap here and put our hoses back in place. Tuck our hoses over here. We got this, this goes on to this sleeve right here. And then the hoses just clip back into place. Right there. Um, let's see. Okay, normally on some of the other Jeeps that I've seen, there's a ground cable that goes from the firewall here. This one's broken and it ran over to one of the studs over here. Um, that is not on this Jeep for some reason. The last one I did it was there, um, but this one is broken and it's not gonna do actually too much, so we're not worrying about it. Um, we've got our cables here. We're gonna take the bungee cord off and we're gonna set our cables back in place We've got these go back down to line up for the, the studs that we took off. And there's a clip right here on the valve cover that these, these two pop into right here. Now these things get pretty brittle, so you gotta be careful when you take these off that you don't go busting them. Because they're gonna hold your cables in place and they're they are important, so. We had this clip that we had removed. It goes like this. It's the same thing. You can hear them pushing down. The cable locks into this one here. Right there. Okay. Okay. That should have a little space in there. And we have the two 10 millimeter bolts for our bracket here. We can clip all of these on afterwards. We'll get our bolts in place. And these are the 10 millimeter ones. And we can snug them down with the quarter drive ratchet now. There's three bolts left. We have two of them on this bracket, you know, the short ones. And then we have one left that holds the air cleaner back down. So, 
and snugging these up. Okay, we can pop this one on. Make sure that this locks into the clips here. And then this one slides on the outside here. And you can pull the lever back a little bit to help you get it on. You want to hear them clip like that. And it's the same thing with this one here. Okay, heard them all snap on. Now we're gonna put our air cleaner back on this. We're gonna put a little bit of uh, grease on this to help this slide down. And we have one 10 millimeter bolt left that's gonna go down into this bracket here to hold the air cleaner on. So, uh, almost there. All right, so we have our, on this side, the dipstick to put back in. And put that in. And we've got our brackets back on, tight. That one's tight. Um, we have our bolts tightened down over here for the bracket here for the linkage, the accelerator pedal, and the shift tran transmission shift cable. Um, we put a little thin coat of grease on this boot here so that our air cleaner just slides down nice and easy. And we got a 5 16th bolt from the back side here that we're going to tighten up over here and lock the air cleaner back down. And that's pretty much going to finish this one up. Just by putting the grease on it, this should help us get this thing to drop down. Okay, that's back down in place. We can line up our bolt here. Snug this one up. It's another 10 millimeter. on and then we'll tighten a couple of 5 16 warm clamps and then we're ready to fire this thing off okay we've got one 5 16 clamp here we're going to make sure it's tight and we got the one on the back side tony will show it on the back side over there the one on the back side is right there Okay, all good, we don't have any spare pieces. We're gonna uh, fire this thing off and make sure it runs good. All right, runs good. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I will reply back to you. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.